Right, today we've uh, ventured out into the vineyards at Oldenburg in a uh, southeaster. This is a big southeaster. Uh, sometimes they call these a black southeaster. Uh, we've got uh, winds gusting up, I don't know, probably north of 80, maybe up to 100 k's an hour. Um, one of the factors at Oldenburg that we've talked about, uh, one of the eight elements uh, that plays a significant role in the vineyards is the wind. Um, and some of the things uh, we do to counteract the wind, and that's what we wanted to show you today, is uh, the wind's coming over those mountains at 1,600 meters, so we're at about 15 degrees here. I think in Stellenbosch this, today it's around 19, 20 degrees. Um, this wind's like a giant air conditioner, and uh, all the, all you can see you're basically facing, um, or the wind runs down the rows, which actually helps uh, remove disease from the uh, vineyards, and also uh, survive in a in a wind like this. I mean, it's it's early October, so the shoots aren't that long. But even even about six weeks, four six weeks time, when you've got longer shoots. A wind like this will just run down these rows rather than at say, say a perpendicular angle which would really cause a lot of damage to the the vines and and that would affect the uh, quality of the the fruit later in as we go into harvest but uh, no we've got a it's a big southeaster it's a strong wind um, it's pretty tough for the vineyard staff uh, they're busy suckering but um, uh, for the vineyards this is this is a good thing it keeps them cool keeps them disease free and um, just not so good for the uh, for the hair, but uh, that's my problem.